Oda, 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 how much we missed you. He's back! I am so glad that we are back with different chapter reviews. I pray that Oda had a successful surgery and that his recovery was relaxing and smooth. But at the same time, I am very happy that we're back. I haven't want, done one of these in such a long time, even though it really doesn't feel like that. Granted, I've been doing summer classes and I've also been... Um, pumping out a lot of content but nevertheless we are back with a one piece chapter review this is one piece chapter 1087 and it is titled battleship bag if you guys enjoy regular anime content reviews and reactions like these make sure you guys like the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a new video but that way my name is potential unleashed and let's get into the review the chapter it starts off with us at the coast of g5 and apparently there are a bunch of broken ships there and different marines are questioning why they have so many ships there apparently the ships were supposed to be replacements for sandbags and this is where garp continuously punched these ships as a warm-up and he still does it today um it's a daily routine of his he punched them in order to get stronger more durable and he doesn't use hockey as well as back in the day his apprentice aokichi was there he didn't use hockey or his dirt fruit because it wouldn't have been considered training and this is all because their power was not within them they had to work extremely hard to get as strong as they are today this is really impressive because we get a lot of at least on the pirate side seeing their struggles seeing them trying to get stronger specifically the straw hats but because they didn't have these innate abilities they had to train they had to get stronger on their own and it's really refreshing seeing it from the marines perspective since we don't really see it much i mean we saw a little bit of kobe and helmeppo their struggle and so seeing garp and um seeing uh, aokiji as those who are at the pinnacle or the highest strength in the series specifically not just well i guess not just on the marine side but just in general seeing them struggle seeing them get stronger and what all they went through it's really refreshing cutting back to pirate island we see senwan wolf he got knocked off apparently by the clash between what's going on of aokiji and garp and he's in the water now when i first read it i was a little bit slow i'm not gonna lie i was like well why can't he just swim but obviously he has a dove fruit and it's kind of interesting because this guy he is humongous so i don't know how they're gonna fish him out since he can't swim i guess they're probably gonna have to take a chain and then wrap it around him and then i don't know pull him with a ship i'm not really sure it's really funny because how can somebody so big like you would think that he could just stand up in the water i mean i know that well towards the coast stuff is sh more shallow than the deep waters i don't know it's just, it's just weird to see the different pirates that are part of blackbird's crew that are here that i remember at least i don't think everybody was in this chapter they very well could be but it includes shirayu pizarro vasco shot i believe Simon wolf and aokiji they are fighting against garp and garp with sword they are trying their best to escape vasco shot attacks garp and he blocks it with other pirates i find that funny but one thing i want to mention is that these different individuals garp he knew what he was getting into um in raiding this island not saying that it's right or wrong because if luffy um and one of his crewmates or somebody that he cared about was kidnapped he go to the ends of the earth. I mean, we saw what he did with Ace. We saw what he did with Nico Robbins. So I understand what Garp is doing. But at the same time, I'm really not sure why he thought that they could escape like it was nothing because they got a lot of the different wounded and the different people that were kidnapped on a ship and they are leaving. And only a few members of well, Garp's crew and Sword are left on the island. But it's not going to be an easy escape. So I'm not necessarily sure why they didn't come with more reinforcements i mean i understand that the marines wouldn't have allowed it but still i feel like this was more of a suicidal mission there was a dope panel i really don't know what to call him because not everybody's a part of his crew but i guess for making it easier i'll just say that it's kobe um helmeppo garp and i forget the last one i can't remember his name but he is a member of sword they are all they're not bat to bat but they're all lined up preparing to fight i find it funny the guy um who can create like the clay individuals he remember when kobe uh was sold to be the future of the marines or garp he gave him that title and respect in him this guy he's like oh well am i also a member or uh, the new marines or you know somebody impactful like that like he's like am i a main character i just find that funny it reminds 
reminds me so much of Cavendish. And so Garp, he's like, hey, we're going to run to the shore. We're going to get up out of here. And as they are running, Kobe, he's tricked by a member of the Blackbeard Pirates. Not, it's a nobody, but he thought it was somebody who was a citizen that was left. And obviously he was tricked. And then Garp, he ends up pushing Kobe out the way and gets stabbed by Shirai. Now, I already know that a lot of individuals are going to get upset by this because they're like, oh, Garp's getting jumped. It's not fair. Why does Blackbeard and his crew always jump people? Well, he's a pirate. I plan on doing a video eventually talking about the true essence of a pirate, but at the same time, people can't get mad at Garp for this because like I mentioned, Garp knew what he was getting into charting into uncharted territory with all these pirates. And like Luffy and Katakuri, when he was stabbed, he said um, that when you go and fight against pirates, don't expect a fair fight or fairness against pirates. Like it's something that you don't really expect. And so pirates, they do whatever they want. And so if I'm trying to get rid of somebody like Garp, I'm I'm gonna do everything in my power to get rid of him. Not saying that I dislike Garp whatsoever. He is one of my favorite Marines, one of my favorite characters, and I like him compared to everybody else that's on this island right now. But I'm also not gonna sit up in here and throw a hissy fit and get all mad because they're doing their jobs. They're pirates who are attacking Marines that invaded their territory. We also got a reveal of what Garp's bounty is. I mentioned a while ago that there are crowns and stars. Apparently the crowns, they are worth a billion and stars are worth a hundred million. So Kobe, he was worth about 500 million berries and Garp, he has three crowns. So he's worth three billion berries. And it is stated that it is the same amount as the admirals. I'm not sure about the fleet admiral, but 3 billion i personally feel like that's a little bit low because i already know that this is going to be more fuel to the fire of people saying that yonko are over admirals i don't really see it like that at the same time i can understand why the yonko have higher bounties and i also think that the marine specifically garp and everything that he's done granted he's older i think he should have a higher bounty but it is what it is. I also love the fact that we got to see the different interactions from their youth up until now between Aokiji and Garp. Aokiji at first, you know, went to Garp saying, hey, can you train me? Because I've learned everything from everybody else and I want to achieve a higher level. He wants to be somebody as strong as an admiral. He is right now. And so Garp, he was like, no, I'm not going to do that. Like, why would I do that? But the more that they trained, the more that they started caring, the more that Garp opened up to him and started liking him, talking about, hey, my son, Dragon, he became a revolutionary. Uh, Luffy, my grandson, became a pirate. He's like, all right, I'm pissed. Let's just eat and drink tea. And Aokiji's like, wait, you, you can't just do that. I'm an admiral. I'm an important person. And then they end up punching each other, seeing like the buildup. Um, and it's supposed to be emotional. When they punch each other now, I am not confirming this. I am not sure whatsoever, but to me, it appears that, I mean, everybody always speculated this because the admirals for the end of the series, where we're at, they need to have advanced conquerors. And so when they punch, we know Garp, he has advanced conquerors, but there's the black lightning that's around them. So I assume that both of them use advanced conquerors in order to will punch each other. This line from Pizarro is pretty cool. And I mentioned earlier, I'm not sure why these ships really thought that they could get away. Not only because Pizarro has the island island fruit and he can transform it kind of like Pika's stone stone fruit or assemble. I don't actually remember Pika's fruit, but we know that he could make anything like that was stone. Um, he could he transform it into that big giant thing. And so I don't understand how they thought they could just get away. Let's just say he didn't even have this. With the different ships and the different pirates that they had, they're outnumbered. Granted, they if they have something like a coup de burst, like when they uh, end up getting on the island in the first place, then I could understand. But Pizarro, he mentioned that, hey, you know, the different captains or the Titanic captains, we want to get mentioned in the papers too. We want our names to grow. Everybody want to say Blackbeard this, Blackbeard that. Well, I want to have a bigger name because you never think about it. When you look at specifically, I guess, the Stry, since they're the main characters, obviously different individuals, specifically, I guess, Zoro and Frankie, you know, they talk about their bounties, you know, uh, sometimes. And Nami, she doesn't like it when her bounty goes up. Usopp, he's a little bit, you know, oh, I like it, but then more people are going to come after me. We know how they feel about it. They don't necessarily care to be as famous as a lot of others. And so seeing other crews and different individuals like, hey, we wanna be popular, we wanna be famous. It is interesting because these different people in Impel Down, like they're strong in their own right. And so he's like, hey, when I 
when it's all said and done, I will have my name in the paper and I will be one of the individuals that is known to have taken down Garp and, you know, did all these things on these island. I, I just find that insight pretty cool. And then as he is trying to grab the ship, Kobe, he's freaking out. He's like, hey, let him go. Like, please stop. And then Garp, he's like, hey, don't lose composure. Justice always prevails. And so I personally think that somebody else is going to show up because Garp, he don't get me wrong like i think he's strong if it was just him i'm still picking out kiji because he's younger but at the same time i think that it would have been easier to do um it, it's kind of hard when it's just kobe and helmepo like that's his backup so i think somebody else is going to come i'm not sure who it could be smoker not saying that smoker is definitely not enough to do this all on his own it could be like him and a big crew i i think somebody is going to assist because they're in a dire situation could even be a pirate maybe Rayleigh I don't know uh it ain't Luffy so yeah but the fact that they're in this situation I think somebody whoever comes and helps them everybody's going to escape but Garp I think that's how it's going to end I also wanted to touch a little bit about um how Aokiji and he trained and all of that it just shows that him being this strong training himself up without hockey and all of that and I know that they used Devil Fruits in their fight and it was an extreme diff one losing their leg one getting scarred all over but it just also shows how strong Okainu was to be able to compete and defeat Aokiji I don't know about you guys I think this is one of the longest spans that we have had not really seeing the straw hats and I'm all here for it I know that we're probably going to go back to them in the next few chapters which it doesn't suck because i love the straw hats but i love the world building and seeing what's going on with the other individuals the marines and pirates in the one piece world but let me know how you guys feel about this chapter in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell i greatly appreciate it follow my instagram twitter snapchat and tiktok is on the screen and in the description below and don't forget to unleash your potential